Hi folks, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear and I have a new OXO product to show you. It is the OXO Conical Burr Grinder. So um, really it's a very basic grinder, although it's a burr grinder, which is kind of nice. It has a hopper right up here that actually locks and unlocks and comes off so that you can dump the beans if you want to change beans. And while we're in here, the burr, the top burr comes right off like that. And then this is the bottom burr right there. Hardened steel, conical, as I mentioned. Makes it nice for cleaning because it comes apart like that. The hopper goes right on and off very easily with a little lock on the inside with your lid. This uh, burr grinder has a plastic, most of it's plastic with some stainless steel accents. Stainless steel uh, grounds collector right here with a nice little lid on it, which makes it nice. Fits right in there. It also comes with 15 different settings. And now they call it a 15 setting grinder, but I know there's these little hash marks in between, so I kind of think it can probably dial in a little bit in the middle, but I'm going to call it 15 because that's what they call it. And also there's a timer right here. So you can time and you'll get the same thing every time. If you figure out that your 12 cup brewer needs X amount of time in the morning, you can just come out and push the button and you're going to get the same thing every time. And comes with a scoop and on it, it says one scoop per cup. I suppose that's for their, their um, brewers that they have as well. So um, all right, let me plug this in so that you can hear it, the noise level. I don't know why I had it unplugged. It'll make a difference when I put some beans in. I left the beans out on purpose because I wanted to show you the, the burr set. And what do we have for beans? This is the uh, Yabora uh, Sumatra Queen Catiera. No, it's earthy, tobacco, and chocolate. This is good coffee. I've had this before and I really like it a lot. That's a nice, uh, there's a story behind that, uh, the roasters as well. Check that out. Not too bad, you know, not the noisiest grinder, but not the quietest as well. So I did three different grinds in it before we went on camera to show you what it'll do. And it does say fine down here, medium, and then coarse. It doesn't say what it's designed for, but I think in their writings they talk about espresso. And I haven't felt the finest yet. I want to see what it feels like. That will be good for a pressurized basket. Non-pressurized, right on the edge. Maybe if your coffee machine, your uh, espresso maker isn't fussy, it might work. It's still got some granulated pieces in it. Then we move up to the medium. Uh, it's, it looks like a nice, it'll do a nice pour over, or drip, something like that, cold brew, really nice. And then when I went up to the courses, which is French press, it kind of loses it. Yeah, it's French press all right, and it's really coarse, but it's extremely inconsistent. It's more consistent on these other two settings, but this, you know, I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty inconsistent. There's big chunks, small chunks, all kinds of chunks. So... This is a very economical grinder, though, for being a burr grinder. Uh, you're not going to put out a lot of money. And I didn't give you the burr set size because they don't say what it is, but it's pretty small. I'm going to say, I mean, I've seen 40 millimeters. I'm going to say it's under 40 millimeters for sure. It's not a very big burr set, but, you know, it's affordable and not too bad looking on your countertop. It'll mix well with a lot of brewers that are out there. So check it out on our website. Comments down below. Have any questions? So hesitate to call us, email us, chat us up, whatever it is, whatever form works best for you. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, we have a lot of followers and it, every day it's getting bigger. So thank you for that. Cheers. Happy brewing.